Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We are at Elkhorn Creek Park. This is just south of uh, Elkhorn, Iowa, a few miles, out in the gravel a little bit. I've uh, been out uh, tooling around on this little hot rod. I got it set up for camping. Also, I, uh, I've got that uh, cat delete pipe. I got a little bit of information on that and how that's performed. I think I've got, I can't remember, 120, 130 miles on it since I put that pipe on, 140, something like that. And uh, it's, it's worked beautifully. It's louder, makes a little more noise. I expected that. I was able to keep the look of the original bike. This all looks standard except for the chrome. You can see a little bit of chrome here and a little bit of chrome there because the cat delete pipe was chrome. But I was able to use the old muffler. Do I have, besides noise, do I have more power? And the answer is absolutely. I have more torque. I think the key the key word is torque. I found myself uh, going up hills uh, easier. I found myself not losing as much speed. You know, where I used to go uh, 50, 55, I was going 60, 65. So I think that was pretty good. The big test, uh, there was a big hill just out of town here. And uh, there's two in a row. The first hill I would I would always get down to about 45. I'd have to shift down and to hold that. And the second hill I'd have to shift down too. And this time I was able to hold 45 without downshifting on the first hill. And the second hill I went over to about 60. So it did make quite a difference. Uh, into the wind. You know, again, it, it gave me another five miles an hour, I think, on average. Very happy with it. It's not a, you know, solve it all. Now, it's, now it runs like a big bike thing, but it uh, it works pretty darn well. I'm very happy with it. For the 100 and I can't remember what it was, 159 130 $159, $159. And the 30 minutes that it took me to put it on, it's absolutely worth, absolutely worth it. Now I'm curious about the DNA filter. I talked to a guy today. He has the same bike. He had a DNA filter and a... Uh, had the lead pipe and he, he said it uh, just made all kinds of difference when he did the DNA filter. Talked to another guy today, same thing. He had a Meteor, I think, which is the same engine. And he had the same thing with a Fuelex system also. So he had a DNA filter, Fuelex system, light, Fuelex light, and the uh, CAD delete pipe, and he said it just ran like a ran like a dream. So do I want to do that? I don't I don't want to do the Fuelex system because that's you know quite a bit more money, a couple hundred dollars, I think. Uh, I might do the DNA filter. I just put a clean air filter in this one a week or two ago. But when that needs changed, you know, in uh, five or six thousand miles, I might go other, with, the, yeah. with the DNA filter. Uh, other other things, camping. Uh, you can see I got a big old bag on here. I wanted to see how this is work. I'd promised I was going to go camping this weekend. I just I just did uh, four days of uh, Missouri. We did three nights, four days of Missouri camping. We did that in the pickup truck, and uh, I wanted to see how the rig worked on the motorcycle. Uh, as it works out, I have to be home tonight, so I can't camp tonight. Uh, but I thought I wanted to, I wanted to see how, how the rig worked. So I put this on the bike. This is a big bag in here. I've got a tent, a bedroll, and a sleeping bag of all things. I've also got an air pump right here and uh, some other things. I also took my uh, Royal Enfield, right there, Royal Enfield Cardinal Law jacket. No, this is not my Cardinal Law jacket. This is my Royal Enfield Nervic jacket, which is, I got the liner out of it. You can see some dirt and dust on there. And I've got that strapped to the back. It's about, uh, it was 78 degrees, I think, when I left the house. It's supposed to get up to 80. So I've got this on. I think I'm pretty good. I'm feeling a little bare because I don't have any armor on. You know, all winter long I rode with armor. But uh, I'll have to find a remedy to that because you know, I had that big crash two years ago. Had a helmet on that saved my head. Had gloves on that saved my hands. Well, where did I have damage? I broke all these bones through here and I had road rash from about here down the middle of my back. So if I would have had a better jacket on, and that's why I bought these jackets, uh, because I want protection. So I'll have to figure that out. These are my Royal Enfield Alpine Star gloves. These are a couple of years old. I got all this Baxter cycle, by the way, except for the bag. But the, the bike, everything, Baxter cycle, baxtercycle.com. <laughs> ah, it's, it's worked pretty good. Uh, if I'm going to camp with this, a couple things. One is I need a chair, and that, that was one of the reasons I didn't uh, want to go tonight. And I couldn't really figure out how to do it. And I've got this kind of stretched out as max. Uh, when I went to Missouri, I took bag chairs with me. And I could take a bag chair with me. It'll stick out, you know, back here somewhere and back here somewhere. And I, I think I'd be okay with that. Maybe I can find a black bag, bag chair to match my bike, right? How would, that's one thing. How would I carry that? Should I put a rack back on here so I could have more storage capacity? Well, the idea of this bike is I want to use it for trips within 200 miles of home, you know, and so I really need all that extra storage. You know, I'm going to be able to carry all my food and stuff like that in one bag and all my clothing and rain gear and stuff like that and this and in this. I would like, I think I'm going to get a different strap system, one that's a little more adjustable. 
I've also seen strap systems where you strap it and then it has a secondary thing that goes over. You can put your jackets, you know, in that or something like that. See how that works. So the reason this is so dusty, uh, I think, what did I say, 120, 130, 140 miles today. Uh, I did a whole bunch of dirt roads. I did a whole bunch of gravel roads. And then this park is two miles of gravel, I think. So, you know, we got, we got a little dust on here. And the bike just handled that beautifully. If, if you want to stay within 200 miles of home, this is a great ADV. This is a great adventure bike in Iowa. You know, gravel roads and dirt roads. We had our, our dirt roads are dry right now. So I love this bike. I've got about 6,000 miles on it. Check out the back tire there. It's, uh, ah, it's looking pretty bad, isn't it? I might replace that here pretty quick. I ran into a guy today. I can't think of his name. He told me. But uh, he had a classic like this. Uh, Signals, uh, the tan one. Very nice bike. He had it well done. He's the one that had the cat to lead in the DNA filter. One of the guys. And uh, he had a, he actually had 6,000 miles. So he had as many miles on his bike as I had on mine. And that, that was really neat to see. Because, uh, you know, these bikes need to be ridden. They're a lot more fun that way. But anyway, handled great on the gravel. Did really well. Getting good mileage. Uh, did well. We've got a pretty windy day. I don't know if you can see the trees moving through here. And uh, I did a big, kind of a big rectangle, irregularly shaped rectangle with lots of lefts and rights. And the bike performed admirably. It, it just, I think that pipe really did help a lot. Uh, real quick, we're having a nifty 350 ride, we're calling it. All bikes are welcome. It doesn't have to be a 350, but the idea is, you know, nifty 350s. It's going to be uh, on April 27th. We're going to start at Marnie, Iowa, about 10 a.m., around 10 a.m. ish, depending on weather. And it's going to be about 110 miles of uh, riding. We're going to go. Uh, Casey, I would get some ice cream, maybe a couple other stops. Um, right now, the two stops are the ice cream and somewhere to eat. But uh, there's some other things, you know, when the group gets together, we'll make a decision. But the whole ride should be about uh, 110 miles, I think, total. So two or three hours, three or four hours, something like that. So 10 o'clock, April 27th, Marnie, Iowa. The mighty Minitropolis of Marnie. If you haven't been there, you got to see it. It's the mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. <laughs> Baxter Cycle parking lot. All right, my friends, it's a beautiful day out here. Just a gorgeous day out here. And I think I think I am, I've got my hiking boots on. I think I'm gonna go walk some trails real quick and then I'm gonna hop on a little hot rod and uh, head back to the castle. Life is good, my friends. Get out there and ride. Wahoo.